it's important to show that this process can be uh, can compete with existing processes. Hi, I'm Valerie Rodin, or just Valerie. Uh, we are here at the Energy Institute at the Johannes Kepler University in Linz. We take a look into the future actually and um, analyze the market potential, the European market potential, the CO2 potential we have in Europe. So how much CO2 is available? Because there are a lot of different uh, projects that um, are developed currently or, or processes that are developed that want to use CO2 in the future. My name is Johannes Lindhofer. I'm working for the Energy Institute at the Johannes Kepler University here in Linz, Austria. And we are a partner in the CO2 Excite project. CO2 is the single carbon source that is targeted uh, for uh, the chemical product ethylene oxide and so uh, we are going for the CO2 sources and we think that uh, a very relevant one are the bio biogenic CO2 sources from for example biogas plants because they are spread already quite often all over Europe. They are biogenic so the carbon in there is uh, not fossil based, it's renewable and then having those uh, geographically nicely decentralized spread all over Europe we can combine and match it with the renewable electricity production that is in closer proximity there. So we are looking from the crude feedstock uh, towards the conversion process till the end product and analyze each step, each step in terms of its environmental impacts. So practically we say okay we are extracting here in CO2 excite uh, the CO2 from a biogas plant then converted via the electrocatalytic approach towards ethylene oxide uh, and benchmark this product then from the environmental perspective towards the fossil counterpart and the result is in, in uh, basically the uh, carbon footprint on the one hand but also other environmental relevant indicators. The other thing is um, uh, we want to know um, how, the, how we can uh, bring this product or the process on the, on the market. What's the cost benchmark of the, uh, of the process? So how much um, can one kilogram of ethylene that's produced with CO2 excite cost to be well um, competitive on the European or the global chemical market. In the end all this is called uh, techno-economic and socio-economic assessment. Global warming is one of the major threats that we are facing within uh, the next decades and so I think Everything that we do in terms of changing production systems towards renewables uh, is a necessary way to fight against uh, these threats that are related to that 